Well, good evening. Here we are. The Transfiguration. One of the most amazing feasts of the year, I think. So, a moment just to think, just to collect our thoughts. And then we will begin. So let's come before the Lord and pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. A moment of reflection on especially the things that have gone wrong this day. And we pray, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. My soul knows well, marvellous are your works. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day 
they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them how great are your counsels to me O god how great is the sum of them if i count them they're more in number than the sand and at the end i'm still in your presence glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever Amen. On Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 to 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. The day comes to its close and as it does we bring before it all that has been and laying each and every part, every piece, every joy every tragedy every blessing given and received every sadness we take them and we reflecting on the good of the day the joys of the day the blessings given the achievements made we reflect on them and father as we do we thank you that this day, the Transfiguration, when three followers of Jesus go up a hill with him and find him transfigured, his face shining, his clothes white, that they see him as he truly is. Father God, in all the things of this day, may we see Jesus as he truly is. May the countenance of his face shine upon us. May his clothes radiating the light radiate joy into our hearts. As we understand that he who is forever sits upon the throne and being presented with one who was and who served Jesus the Christ sits next to him giving power and authority and glory and might Father God we pray that with two of those three seats the third being the Holy Spirit being our joy our aim our goal that Lord we would reflect your truth and light and love and rejoice in Christ and all that he is 
until that day when we see him as he is and stand before the throne in eternity. Father, for the things that have gone wrong today, we pray that as we pray about them, as we forgive those who have maybe damaged us and ask for forgiveness in us damaging them. Lord, look, we realise that Jesus is transformed by prayer in our Luke story today. Lord, we too are transformed by prayer. We are healed by prayer. We are made yours by prayer. Help us to pray, not for gain, but that we might gain an understanding and be transformed by the face of Jesus, the blood of the cross, by the resurrection, by the power of your spirit. And Father God, as we look at the things of this day that we would like to keep, the things of this day that we'd like to continue forever, Father, help us to understand as Simon wants to build booths, how humid it is that rather than move on, rather than enjoy the moment and grow from it, all too often we come to the things of this day and wish they could continue forever but Lord to continue the love of a second for years or months or weeks or days is folly for love grows love changes love expands to bless so help us Lord not to grasp the day and keep it static but to seize the day and make it grow and help it in us to be a blessing to others by your love and father as we look at the day now closed now ending we think of those moments when those words this is my son listen to him fell on stony ground. Father, help us always to listen to Jesus the Christ, to read the written word and to serve the living word. Help us to be obedient. Help us to be people who follow the truth. Bring your love and make Christ known. And Father God, we pray for those on our hearts and minds this night. For those we know who are back in hospital, we pray for John, especially as he had a turn this afternoon, that you would keep him safe. And for Margaret and for Graham and for Maureen, for Colin, for Enid. Lord, for the many people in our hearts, mind this night and father we pray that the light of the Christ might shine into their darkest places that Jesus the risen Christ God made flesh love made real for us might touch them might bring healing might bless them we ask this most glorious Lord in Jesus' most precious name. For Father in heaven, whose Son Jesus Christ was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem. Lord, give us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross that in the world to come we may see him as he is, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. With the glorious image of Christ in our hearts, let's put his words on our lips. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So guys, thank you for being with us. Have a good night's sleep. May you wake refreshed and may tomorrow be a, a day of blessing. Take care. Sleep well. Bye.